today's video probably wondering why I'm standing here in front of a empty uh, table we're gonna get to that here in just a second right whiteboard markers but now nah, we don't need bananas didn't need those bananas um and that's really about it so let's get to the topic of this conversation all right everybody so, got a whiteboard here today. So I just wanted to explain something. I was uh, sitting down with Brenda the other day and we're starting to think of some type of ideas of meals that we would like to start to buy this stuff for before summer shredding. That way we have our breakfast, lunch, and dinner planned out. And a question that she had is, how do you get your macros from the food items that you're buying? You know, how do you know how much protein is in this and how much fats is in this and how much you know carbs am I getting in my meal so I wanted to talk about that today because I thought that that'd be a good subject to talk on and you know not everybody may know the answer to that so hopefully in today's explanation I'll be able to uh, give you guys just some some insight on how to calculate your macros per meal um, answer any questions about macros so first and foremost your macros are your protein your carbs and your fats and that's what gives you your calories so <clears throat> your macronutrients give you your calorie intake so we're going to talk about that here and I'm just going to give a sample I'm uh, actually going to use the same example that Brenda asked for uh, in today's video so let's get to it all right so as you can see here we have protein C for carbs and F for fat now I just use bodybuilder.com they have a free macro calculator you kinda just plug in your information age height weight and your desired either weight loss if you want to do muscle gains if you want to maintain and it kinda gives you a baseline of what your macros should be so I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my macros here and use the example that Brenda asked for for a breakfast item that we talked about so, so for me if I'm gonna be focused on weight loss my macros currently are gonna be 182 grams of protein in a day 182 grams of carbs in a day and 40 grams of fat egg avocado bread for breakfast sounds like a pretty healthy meal and it is it has a lot of good it has good fats good carbs good protein for you now the biggest question that she had is how do you get your macros from this now I, you can go to, there's a MyFitnessPal, uh, I myself I have a Fitbit and the Fitbit app gives you an idea of what the nutritional facts are. And from the nutritional facts you'll find your protein, your carbs and your fat. So from the egg, on the Fitbit app we had, so one egg we had 8.5 grams of fat, 3 carbs, and ten and a half grams of protein not too shabby that's for a whole egg one fourth avocado now depending on what app you have it'll give you the nutrition facts for one whole avocado and obviously you just divide whatever the nutritional facts are for that avocado by four so for one fourth avocado based on the Fitbit app nutritional facts we had so for one fourth avocado we had 7.4 grams of fat, 4.3 carbs, and 1 gram of protein. Now, as you can see, depending on how many fat grams you have out for the day, I'm at 40 based on my weight and my height and my age. Uh, Brenda was at like 25. So, how, even though this is a really good breakfast, based on her macros, you know, she's catching up to 25 grams of protein already, or 25 grams of fat already. For her breakfast you know you can't go out and eat six bowls of cereal and expect to be in your macros that's just unrealistic so writing it out like this and kind of getting the idea beforehand kind of gives you okay 
this is what I can have, even though it's healthy, you know, staying in that macros is what's going to get you to your end goal given, you know, over, over a period of time. So here's what we have so far. Like I said, it's so far, it's pretty high in fats. They're good fats, which is what you're, what you're looking for. Um, however, you want to stay in that range of your macros to be able to reach your end goal in a more timely fashion. So one slice of wheat bread. Here we go. So for one slice of wheat bread, the brand that we chose was Sarah Lee, just so you guys have an idea. So for one slice of wheat bread, we have 0.5 fat, not too much fat at all, 9.5 carbs, and only 2.5 grams of protein. Now, like I said, there was a lot of question around how do you get all that information. Like I said, just off of the nutritional facts themselves, you'll break everything down, find your fats, find your carbs, find your protein, write it out, and then obviously, what do we got to do? We got to total it out for your breakfast, if you so choose to get this avocado egg bread for your breakfast. So, let's go ahead and get the totals. 16.4 fat, 16.8 carb, and 14 grams of protein. Now, I don't know if I'm the only one that has this problem. For whatever reason, when I spell out protein, I would have put I-E-N instead of E-I-N. I don't know. But... 14 grams of protein. So like I said, based on your macros, it's good fat, it's good carbs. Aside from the bread, you know, bread's is carbs, it's, it's wheat bread, it's supposed to be good for you, but whatever, carbs, carb intake there, and 14 grams of protein. All good protein here for you. Obviously with the egg and the avocado, it's good protein. Avocado is considered now a super fruit, so, or maybe it has been for a long time, but it's more commonly known as a super fruit nowadays, so... Bam, there you go. So, just to kind of break down, based on what you're eating, this is essentially what you're going to have to do per meal for each day or how much you want to break it up. So, as an example, um, what we're going to planning on doing is having, you know, one week with uh, chicken and, and beef mixed into it. The next week, maybe we'll do some, some type of seafood and chicken, obviously to keep it interesting. But this is just an example of a food uh, breakfast item that Brenda found that she was interested in knowing how it was going to play into her macros and what she would be able to have throughout the day left based on her macros. So here's my macros again. So it would fit nice into mine. Like I said, it's pretty high in fat for anybody's macros. So depending, so she had 25. So you're already almost at your fat content or your fat macros for the day just with your breakfast. So something to keep in mind is it gonna be detailed? Of course, you know. Is, is it gonna be some type of work? Is it gonna take time? Of course, anything worth working for is gonna take time and it's gonna take planning out. You know, you're not just gonna go ahead and do this and think that, you know, I'm gonna wing it and then I'll be fine. Now, if you've been doing this for a long time, you know, a couple years now, uh, like six, seven, eight years, you know your body, of course it's gonna be easier. But until you get to that point, you're going to want to write everything out, you know, get everything down on paper, get your ideas down. That way you can have an idea of what your macros are going to be for your breakfast, for your lunch, and for your dinner. That way you can help you keep on track and, you know, come that six, seven year mark, you know, you already know what you're going to want to eat. It's going to be in the back of your head already and you're going to go ahead and just fly through the process of cutting. So, again, this is intended for somebody who wants to track out their macros for cutting. You can also do the same thing, track out your macros for bulking and for maintaining, but in our scenario, we're gonna be tracking our macros to cut weight. So, with that being said, I hope today's video was a little informative. If you had any questions on macros, or what it, you know, if you had similar questions um, or just wanted to know how do you break it down, hopefully today's video added some insight to that. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, I got a haircut, GTSL.